All right, guys, how are we doing? Welcome to the live stream. We are going to be hanging out and talking about whatever you guys want to talk about. It's actually been two weeks since I've been able to jump on and do a live stream. So let's see how tonight goes. Uh, Liz actually might join and also maybe a little appearance by baby Emmy. How is everybody doing tonight? How's your guys' weekend going? I'm looking out the window, we have some gnarly thunderstorms like 10 miles west of us. So if I lose power or internet and the live stream's cut short, that is what it is, right? I guess that's why you join on and join live. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, looking through the comments here, we got Max Landscaping, TJ Lawn and Landscape, Michael Swartz, Mareka7, and so many more people. Uh, Will with KJN Ruther Lawn and Landscape, Undefined Gaming. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, it's been a wild couple of days. I'm actually exhausted. I'm sure I'm probably not supposed to say something like that because uh, I'm supposed to be a hero and be upbeat and uh, pretend like I don't get tired or I don't get angry or frustrated or sick or this or that. That's not the case. I'm beat exhausted. Uh, we had a crazy week uh, with doing spring cleanups, trying to make the most out of it. We lost Monday. We lost Tuesday. Crushed it Wednesday. Thursday, I flew out to Iowa. Crushed it Friday. Saturday, I flew out to... North Carolina, Greensboro, and today, big time family day, just kind of chilling out, trying to sleep a little bit. Went to make it to church. Uh, traffic shut down the whole highway. We missed church. That was unfortunate. So we got breakfast. I did some photos with Liz, and that's been my week. So it has been a wild run. Um, going into this week, rain on Monday, and then who knows what's going on Tuesday through the rest of the week. Hopefully, we're doing our regular mowing schedule. So how's everybody's week going? If you guys want to leave some comments down below, let me know. All right, where's uh, everybody from tonight? Is it starting to rain, babe? Yeah. It's starting to rain. If uh, if the live stream gets cut short, we have little like crazy thunderstorms to the west of us. Um, they've been like kind of cascading this way and like that front's moving at the same time. So we'll see how it goes. But we've been getting phone alerts for like the last two hours. We almost didn't get to do our photo session for Liz for her uh, mini session for Mother's Day photos to be. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? Man, if you guys got questions, let me know. Ben Miranda mowing starting this week here near Lansing. Awesome. I wonder if we're going to get it Monday and uh, we're actually going to try try to work tomorrow. We're going to do some mulch in the morning and then mow for a couple hours. Might get ran out around two. All right. I'm reading all your guys' comments here. So uh, Bill Hall, we'll talk about your route density question. Good evening. Uh, uh, Elegant, Michigan. And the weather is wild for us as well. Yeah, this has been a rough uh, spring. It's been a non-existent spring if you're up here in Michigan. Bill's in Kenosha. That's true. Babe, my, my message failed to send to you. Are you in the live stream? Huh. I'm not sure why that's working. What it, whatever it just did. Uh, I switched to the X Blades and liking it. That's cool. Hey, I got to visit Corey, uh, Corey Ballard on Thursday. Those guys are awesome. Uh, Ballard Products has blown up like crazy the last few years. They went from one bay uh, and one small like uh, commercial strip mall, if you will, to four bays. And now they're going to build a custom like 24, 26,000 square foot facility, which is freaking wild. He's becoming like the Amazon of like lawn care. It's, it was really, really good time. Hang out with him, Kaz. A lot of you guys know Colton Bisbo from BPM. Uh, he sold his business to move over to Iowa, help Corey out. Uh, just great people there. Uh, if you guys got questions or comments, let me know how you guys' week is going, man, in the comments. It's been... It's been wild over here. Uh, we basically finished up spring cleanups. I have two left to do. We're going to put those on our Thursday route because our two Thursday lawns that want the cleanups don't really grow that fast. So I think it's still going to be another week anyway before we can mow them. So instead of like skipping them this week and trying to like get all, all, all of our cleanups done last week, we just decided to do them next week, Thursday, this upcoming week, Thursday. And uh, But other than that, we're going to a full-blown mowing schedule. Babe, the wind is really picking up out there. <laughs> It's gonna be uh it's gonna be hailing and thunderstorming any second now. Thoughts on battery tech, Brett's grass capades. Um is that Brett's uh Brett from uh uh hanging out with um Alan. Alan uh hey in the long care now. Brett, what's up, bro? Um I I I think you're in uh you're in uh Caleb Allman's podcast episode summed up what I'm thinking. But me personally, I still think it's a, a decade or 15 years out. I think you guys were saying like two or three years max or five years max. I don't know. Do you guys think battery mowers are like going to take our jobs or taking our jobs? I don't know about that. <laughs> Taylor Miss uh, Mistel, Miss Milstead thinking about the Ballard shoot blocker. I like the advanced shoot. Some guys like the quick shoot. Some guys like the grass flap. It is what it is. I just wanted something mechanical, something that works. 
um my door wall is like whipping over here <laughs> so uh i'm reading you guys with comments as we go as we go so uh sunny walton have you started mowing yet no this week we should be mowing uh, <laughs> uh i'm from pennsylvania pocono mountains awesome all right cool snowing in south dakota right now what's up with the snow man uh hey really quick tomorrow night you guys gotta do me a big solid when the uh shop tour comes out tomorrow on jeremy connect can you guys watch it? Can you guys thumbs up? Can you check it out? Uh, it's going to be a really, really good time. Shout out to uh, Steel Equipment Defender, Cujo Yardware, and Yardbook. They sponsored a shop tour series. Just got back from Mitchell Gordy's house yesterday in North Carolina. I think he's number five of the eight that we're doing and filming. Uh, but tomorrow's Jeremy Connect, JJ Grounds over in Congerville, Illinois, I think is what it is. Uh, that was a really, really good time. Dude, the weather is whipping. I wish you guys could like see this way. It's going to get wild here in a minute. <laughs> uh, mowing second week, Gerald Huntington. You guys are already mowing your second week? Oh, uh, Gerald, how did you guys do for winter in Indiana? Did you guys get a good winter or a crappy winter? I heard a lot of guys in Indiana didn't get much snow. All right. Uh, and by the way, tonight's live stream is sponsored by Launchpreneur Academy all these logos here. If you guys want to save 10% on any of our training resources at launchpreneuracademy.com, the contracts, the postcards, the training programs, learning how to grow a successful lawn care landscape and business, you can use promo code LIVESTREAM. I think it's LIVESTREAM or LIVESTREAM10 and it saves 10%. I should probably know my own code, but I think it's LIVESTREAM. <laughs> uh, go through the comments here. Installed the grass flap on the Vertex and love it. Kingdom Lawn Care. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Been mowing for two weeks now. Only have Mondays and Fridays somewhat scheduled out. Uh, that's okay. That's cool. Uh, we have a full Monday through Thursday route. We're pushing like 17, 18 Gs just in mowing. Two guys, four days, about 18 a month. That's pretty good for me. <laughs> I'm very, very thankful for that. Last year, we were about nah, close to 14, 15. I was in the field not very productive. I was always on my phone and trying to do social media stuff and YouTube stuff. So Mark and Rob should be crushing that. By the way, while I was in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina on Saturday, they did a 12 yard mulch job uh, at this house that my mom has that we're about to sell. And uh, they did a great job. They did 12 yards of mulch from 8.30 in the morning, almost nine-ish, to like 11.45. That's pretty good. Those guys did an amazing job. Really proud of them. Um, had another young guy named Bronson. Some of you guys might've seen him on my channel, He's like 15, 16 year old kid. He wanted to help out. He lives a mile down the road. So he came in over and helped out and just paid him cash. And he just got some experience and got to help out with the guys, but he loved it. And, uh, those guys crushed it while I was in North Carolina. So the, the team this year is better than ever. Uh, super excited about where everybody's at. Hey, uh, Taylor Milstead, let's hit like folks. Hey, amen to that. Can you guys do me a quick salad and bump this thing up? Can we get like 20, 30 more likes in here. We only got 25 likes. It's pretty weak sauce. It's weak sauce. The weather is smoking right now. We're getting rain over here in Michigan um, nonstop. That's like our life story. Snow in Minnesota. Shocker. <laughs> it probably snows until May or June in Minnesota, you know? I hope we can start cutting grass this week. Yeah, amen to that. We should be um, coming up. I just picked up a steel combi from Grumpy One. Which one did you get? Did you get the 91 or 94 or the 131? If I lose the live stream, I apologize. Uh, I'll try to restart and maybe jump on my phone, but we could lose power because this place, the electrical is rough. All right. I'm um, looking at all the comments. Did we start this, the thatching, aerating, and fertilizing yet? Uh, Bedell went out and did our first round of fertilizing, I believe, this last week. I think. Uh, if not, he'll be doing it this week. He might have held off because of the rain and the snow. I'm not sure. I got to catch up with him. An electric combi. Ooh. Is that the new... Uh, I think I have that. They sent something to me. I, I wasn't supposed to talk about it just yet. It's like the <clears throat> the KM140, 145 or... I don't know. I got to look at it. It's uh, the electric trimmer and the electric uh, edger. I'm probably, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it yet. You got the 131 Main Street Landscaping. Yeah, the 131 is pretty pimp we can't buy rain right now oh no dude you can have any of ours right now anytime big south outdoors rain and snow all right if you guys got questions let me know in the comments down here appreciate it um 
And then also, if you guys want to drop a thumbs up or a like on the uh, YouTube video, super appreciate that. Maybe you guys are watching the replay of this if you guys want to thumbs up. Also, shout out to all the folks listening on the podcast. We take the live streams every week on Sunday. And we post them to the following week, Saturday, as a bonus episode on the Fullerton Unfiltered podcast. If you guys have not listened to the podcast, I'm telling you what, it is an amazing long care podcast. We get so many great folks on, guests, interviews. I'm on there doing solo episodes. Liz joins me all the time. Uh, come check it out. Fullerton Unfiltered podcast, iTunes, Spotify. Are you guys appreciating this? Is this cool? Is this fun? You guys having fun? I, I just love hanging with you guys, man. Um, what's your cut height this time of year in Michigan. Our first cut is usually like 275, maybe three inches. Uh, but the grass is just kind of starting to poke up. So kind of like 275. Thoughts on the Milwaukee 21 inch push mower from Jack Lesko. I have not used it yet. Uh, they wanted to send one. I said no. Um, I just don't have a bunch of time. And uh, if they didn't want to create some sponsored content, I, I don't have so much time in the day. And they're like, nope, we'll give it to a bunch of other people. And I said, no problem. I think B&B got it. So check it out. He was saying it was like a thousand bucks. It's not bad. Kind of pricey for what it is because you got to buy the batteries. For a thousand bucks, you can get a Toro Time Cutter or uh, two Toro Time Masters for four or five hundred bucks each. I don't know. Uh, I'm not super convinced. All right. How can somebody get a demo from Steel or Toro? Uh, I don't know if you can get a demo from Steel. Maybe your dealer or the regional rep. Reach out to them on Instagram or uh, on their website. Shoot them an email. Somebody will get back with you. Uh, lawnmowers are probably a little bit more likely. That's usually from your dealer or the regional rep as well for the mower. Uh, but you're only going to probably get a couple hours, maybe a day. Uh, if you get a really cool uh, rep, he might give it to you for the day or a couple days because he's just busy. He's got to get out of town and come back. Um, but usually it's a couple hours in person. Sometimes it's cool. Sometimes it's lame. Just depends. Paul Crutchley. I listen to the podcast every day. Hey, I appreciate that. Paul, what is your favorite type of podcast to listen to? Do you like the guest interviews, equipment talk, money talk? Do you like politics talk when I just rant about certain topics? What, what, what do you guys like listening to the most on the podcast? I'm in the South line area. Half my yards are like two inches of standing water. Dude, I know it's, that's Rustacia Brothers. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, Rust, Rust, Rustacia Brothers. Uh, I'm looking at getting a backpack. Which one do you recommend? I love the Red Max 8550s. The new one's the 8560. Can't beat that. Um, but the BR800 is great. The Echo 9010 is great. You can't go wrong. Listen to the podcast all the time. Love having different perspectives on like others to uh, show how they run their business. That's from uh, Wyland Bissonette. I probably am butchering every one of your guys' names, so I apologize. <laughs> Which combi should I get for edging? Uh, if you're doing bed edging, I like the bed redefiner from the uh, KM131. That's the steel uh, bed redefiner. Main Street Landscapings. Yes, this is cool. Sweet. Thumbs up. How do I deal with sprinklers when mowing? Uh, we don't. I mean, we do our best to not hit them, obviously, but there's always, uh, there's always a victim once a week where we hit a head, you know, and just lop it off. And we tell the customer, uh, but we do not take responsibility for them uh, straight up. If they're left up and they don't compress or decompress or pop down, it's not our fault. Uh, we can't be looking around for sprinkler heads. It's unfortunate. It's it's a pain in the butt. It's it's a stupid thing, uh, but it is what it is. We always tell them, uh, we've got an irrigation guy. He can come out and fix them 30 bucks a head. Uh, or if you guys want to get good at replacing sprinkler heads and you can offer to fix it while you're there for 20 or 30 bucks, that's cool. But for me personally, and I know somebody uh, probably wants to argue this one, but for me personally, I do not take any responsibility ever for the sprinkler heads. Yes, it's kind of our fault, but the reality is that that sprinkler system shouldn't have been popped up. Um, and I know sometimes it's not the customer's fault either or whatever. It's just the irrigation got dirt in it or dust in it and it didn't pop down. Um, it happens. But we always tell them, don't run your sprinkler the day we mow, number one, so it's not wet. And then number two, those heads had an extra 24 hours to kind of pop down and compress back into the uh, little cylinder there. Do you guys take responsibility for the sprinkler heads? Let me know. I, I, I just got so sick and tired of once a week with all my lawns being irrigated, uh, somebody calling me up and saying, hey, my sprinkler head's broken. What are you going to do about it? And I wasn't good at fixing sprinkler irrigations. I'm not a sprinkler irrigation tech. I don't have all the parts or all the heads and they're expensive. And about five or six years ago, I just said, it's not a problem. Fix your system. I know that might not be a popular opinion, but that is just a straightforward answer. 
<laughs> I wonder how that's gonna go. Oh, Brian's law maintenance. He doesn't. He you know he doesn't take responsibility. I'm sure that's how it goes. Somebody said avoid them. Yeah, yeah. Just mow around all the sprinkler heads. <laughs> it's like it's like Marco Polo out there, you know. Hey, hey. how you doing? Hey, we still got internet and electric. Uh, electric. I don't know if I'm talking to you. It's dark. It's dark. Want to come say? Hey? Um, why don't you come around this way if you can? If you can manage. You guys want Liz to jump on for a minute? <clears throat> Everybody say, Liz, 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 Liz. <laughs> Uh, you want to come on this side? Yeah, she can come join us. <clears throat> Is she come, coming on? Liz is going to come say, hey, guys. Uh, as a 17-year-old getting into lawn maintenance with a push mower and a weed whacker, how much should I charge up northeast? I would say have a good starting point of like 45 to 50 bucks. Uh, from there, uh, $1. fifty to $2 a minute. And then from there, you have to get to knowing your numbers, know what you really need to charge. Liz is going to jump on and say, hey, she's like, I want to be part of the live stream. <clears throat> All right. Uh, <clears throat> I do take responsibility for everything that I mess up. A amen to that. Uh, Courtney Curtis. Yeah, but like the sprinkler head, for example, right? Like it's kind of hard to take responsibility for messing that up when you're just mowing the lawn, right? All right. Say hi, everybody. Can we turn a little bit? You hear the rain coming out? Yeah. <clears throat> um, say hey to everybody. Hi. <laughs> Blink if you're in trouble. Here, I'll, I'm going to switch over a little bit. There you go. There you go. Uh. Got a bottle cap. That's fine. All right. We got Miss Miss Lees, Mrs. Fullerton. Now, remember, on a live stream, it's always live. So you have to, like, your resting face has to be smiling, right? Whoa, don't touch the pen. <laughs> I don't want to mess any of this up. I have no idea how any of this works. Ever, if you guys can all say hi, Liz, and hi, Emmy, that would be much hi. appreciated. Uh, oh, can you say hi? Wait, wait to all the people. She's got my body armor cap. I want to take this over here just yeah. so she doesn't pour juice on um, can you say hi? a couple thousand dollar laptop. Hi. Uh, hi. I'm trying to read the comments here. If you guys got questions for Liz, like asking her skincare routine or <laughs> <laughs> do I have this like huge like red dot? Is it? <laughs> it's awesome. I probably still have spinach in my teeth. Do we have spinach in our teeth? I just got done eating. Like, uh, all right. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is real life. Big South Outdoors TV. Hey, from Big South Down South. All right. KLK Productions. Maybe you can't let her touch the keyboard. I, if you hit one button, it's like, doo, 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 <laughs> like the Microsoft shutdown. All uh, right. When you have multiple guys working with you, do you charge by man hour? Uh, yes. Whether it's a landscape job, you have your man hours figured out mm -hmm. of, for the job. And by mowing, you should know your man hours by the time it takes you to mow the properties. Um, really simple stuff, hopefully. Which do I prefer, trimmer or edger? Uh, trimming for trimming, edging for edging. We use an edger for all of our edging work. Yeah. It's like this awkward like. I know. Hello, dear. Fourth year said Liz, pineapple and pizza. <laughs> yes, or no. Shut up. No. no. Where did, who just no. talked about pineapple pizza already? Congrats on the baby, by the way. I have three-month-old twins. Hey, Taylor Milstead. He's got three-month-old ten. Wow. Uh, twins. Congratulations. Boys or girls, Taylor? I don't know. I used to I say bet I my, wanted to do I bet, twins. I, bet, I had one. I, was I, like, bet, I don't no, if I'm cut out. I'm gonna bet two girls. What do you think? Two girls. Yeah, what are you gonna take? I don't know. One of each. One of each. Okay, I got two girls. He think she's. You think one and one. Uh, all right. If you guys got questions, let us know. Boys, we're both wrong. No, shut up. For real. <laughs> I was gonna say boys too, and I was like, no, it's probably girls. Are we still using Yardbook? Yeah, we we use Yardbook. We love Yardbook. Um, it's been perfect for our business. I know there's a lot of other CRMs out there. I talk about all the different ones all the time. Uh, shout out to Synced Up and Element. They're great for landscapers. Uh, for lawn care people, you need Jobber or Yardbook. I don't care what anybody says. It's just they work. They're straightforward. They're they're free or 50 or 100 bucks a month. And that is the truth. Anybody who else says otherwise, it's all another comment. How is Brian behind the scenes? Give him a three minute here. I'll take Emmy. Give him a, give him a two minute. Brian behind the scenes. Am I crazy? Well, he likes to talk. No, I don't. He does. Mm -hmm. um, he has a lot of words. And uh, <laughs> he likes naps when he can take them. But other than that, I mean, he's pretty much like he is now in real life. That's Maybe a little bit more opinionated, if you can believe it. <laughs> 
I mean, you can only say so many things on YouTube without getting banned in life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or um, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Here, He's come, a really good dad. Come, come a little closer because uh, the camera's only focusing on one of us. There you go. Or we gotta be like the same equal distance back or forward. All right, there you go. Uh, can you read the comments though? No, I'm blind. blind. You gotta get laser eyes. Okay, surgery. Brian, you're going to need more work to pay for the women in your life. <laughs> What, what does he say? You're going to need more work. To, to pay, pay for the for women in your life? Hey, I, I, hopefully it's all boys after this and they can start working the family farm and business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Beautiful family. Tony Romano. Thank you. Uh, it's getting warm in here. It hey, Fullerton fam from Canada. Little lawn care. Hello from Baverton? Beaverton. Be Be Baverton. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, guys, like, I'm moving. Um EFI for the win. Yeah, you guys like uh, EFI or carb? I'm turning into a big carb guy lately. Uh, I'm done with my EFIs, I'm pretty sure. I'm going Kawasaki for life. Kawasaki, Kawasaki just sounds like fun. Like yeah, Kalabunga. I'm not a big fan of Kohler. Uh, where's Brian's bow? <laughs> Was there another bow over here? Uh, <laughs> There's usually one around, but all right. actually clean the house. All right, we have a three-minute poll. First, first before we do, uh, everybody's got to hit thumbs up on the live stream if you guys don't mind. We got 61 likes. But there's 120 people in here, so we gotta we gotta get 20 more likes really quick. If you guys want to help out, it's tap 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 a roo. It's totally free and easy to do. Did I just rap? Did that storm just blowing through? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, really quick. Are you guys team socks or team no socks? Like right now, do you have socks on? Let's let's real time check. Emmy's got no socks on. <laughs> I'm not putting my foot on I the screen. Have, I do not have socks on. I don't even know if I can get my foot up here. Ew. I don't. I have socks on. Bro, did that just happen? <laughs> You're a freak. Uh, you have Straight look at the hairball on your live stream. Well, that's Teddy. Oh. Hmm. You have a hairball attached to your sock. That's disgusting. Are those like changed? I literally just put them on. From where the cat litter box? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Team no socks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, no socks, socks on. Okay. Guys, can you do like real time polls? Uh, oh, I can do a poll. Okay. Socks. Obviously, we're professional. We're, I, I've not, I've done like four live streams, folks. Um, here, everybody vote on the poll. Can you do that? Hopefully, I don't destroy the internet because that's usually what I do. <laughs> you guys got to vote on the poll. This is fun. Dude, it's mostly no socks. Socks, it's cold. Socks on. So no, there's a. Oh, no socks is in the lead. How do I show the? Uh, I don't know. They can probably see people it. on the podcast are like, "What the hell am I listening to?" Oh, this is gonna be a podcast. Even well, I take the live stream and I rip the audio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Socks. Actually, there's a lot more socks. Shoot, dude. Six. How do I? Uh, how do I see the poll? Oh, okay. Hey, team, no socks. Where are you at? Oh my god, no way. <laughs> <laughs> it's sixty-two thirty-eight. Team socks is winning. I even bring socks with me when i go to other people's houses if i'm taking if i'm wearing sandals i'll put a pair of socks in my purse to put on so that when really? i take my shoes off i'm That's not true. like barefoot it's weird somebody said you want a wife swap i don't think so <laughs> um you can't afford her i'm telling you <laughs> literally and figuratively uh you must not get out of the city much do you know her beaverton that's too bad have you ever been to beaverton Okay, that's a thousand bucks. We're gonna not yeah. give you that phone. Um, no, I've never been to Beaverton. Can you Google where Beaverton is? Um, please do it, woman. <laughs> Team Socks. I live in Minnesota. Yeah, that's fair. Did you gotta play like defense when you have a kid? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> what the heck? Team Socks is smoking us 62 to 38. Uh, don't touch the light, <laughs> dude. Kids are wild. She's way too pretty for you. No clothes on, just kidding. I mean, who says I'm wearing pants? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Uh, if you guys got questions about anything long care related, let me know. All right. After hours beverage of choice from fourth gear, John. We're going to end this poll. Uh, Team Sox won, which is uh, disappointing. Um, okay. Uh, what's your guys' favorite drink when you get home? What's the first thing are you guys grabbing? Are you guys grabbing a... Uh, an adult beverage? Are you guys grabbing a Coke, a water, or a or a sweet tea? What uh, What are you guys grabbing when you get home to drink? What do I grab when I get home to drink? I'm always like, I need like a I take a big glass of water, don't I? I always like get a big glass of water. Did you find Beaverton, by the way? No, sorry, I hit a black somebody because they're just making rude comments about. That's why I didn't want to bring Emmy on the live stream, but oh. I took care of it. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, what a retard! What a loser! All right. Um. 
beers and waters, water, sparkly water, Mountain Dew, water, good. Water, water for life. Actually, I drink a lot of body armors. Uh, Liz and I get these. They're really, really healthy, uh, healthier. Soda water, water. You guys like, wa like what, is this carbonated water a thing? Carb? Okay, now that Brian has found the pole. Oh. It's... Yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Are you out? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I love you. Love you. I'll see you in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, I just did a poll. You guys like carbonated water or regular water? I hate carbonated water. It's so gross. Lake water, up the nose, cannonball. It's not bad. I'd take that any day. Would you? No. No? You don't like cannonballs into the lake? No. All right. Uh, that's how you get a parasite in your brain? Fact check, not true. All right, here we go. I got you guys. All right. All right, you guys got questions about lawn care, landscaping. Um, any questions you guys have for uh, hanging out with Corey Ballard or Mitchell Gordy? Let's focus on that for a little bit. Uh, we'll try to talk about something productive. Those guys were both really, really cool. Uh, almost didn't make it to hang out with Corey Ballard. I'm literally about to land in Iowa. The fog was so bad Thursday. And the range, uh, the visibility for aircraft was like 1 16th of a mile. Apparently... When you're flying at 450 miles per hour, you need a little bit more uh, visibility to land on an, air, uh, on an airstrip. Makes sense. <laughs> so on the landing strip. So uh, we, we were circling the airport for 40 minutes. And at 45 or 50 minutes, we, had, we were going to um, go to Minneapolis, Minnesota. And that wouldn't have been good. <laughs> I would have had to have hung there for a couple hours, hopefully made a flight back. Uh, that didn't work out very well. Uh, but thankfully, that wouldn't have worked out very well. But thankfully, we landed the plane, got to catch up with Corey. Uh, we shot two or three videos there, a podcast, which dropped on Friday. Actually, a lot of good feedback from that. Talking about work-life balance. And uh, from there, uh, it was a really, really good time. So a lot of new stuff coming out from Ballard. A lot of you guys have already seen it, but check out some of their products. And um, thank you, of course, for the support with the Brian's 10 code. All right. Uh, I'm going to end this poll. No ice, regular water versus carbonated water. Amen to that. All right. <clears throat> um, this is actually pretty cool. Um, you said you prefer carb over the EFI. What's my reasoning? You know, just easier uh, maintenance on a carbureted engine. They're less costly, less downtime, less issues. And I feel like the people uh, that I used to go with with EFI are making uh, junkier and junkier engines. How about that? Uh, and I'm not I'm really a big fan of who they are behind the scenes. They are not in it for the, the long care community or people that I like. Um, so Kawasaki for life. Uh, Tim Latrenu, do you have your own jet? <laughs> nope. Uh, nice jets, 2.5 million. And I'm about 2.5 million short of a nice jet. Uh, Brian, the best water is Fiji water. Fiji water. I, I feel like... Um, I, I like Fiji. I like the bottle of Fiji, but I, I don't I don't like the way Fiji tastes. Not bad, but I just I don't know. Um all right, what else do you guys got? Iowa here. Corey's a super cool guy. Yeah, he is. Um you can always swing by his place. It's pretty cool. Uh Jeffrey Wilson. I like the vertex, but can it compete with the functionality of the multi-force? No. If you want a standalone stand on mower, though, stand alone, eh? Uh go with the vertex. But the multi-force, if you're going to do snow or the thatchings or bagging or the turbo force below or the mulch force, uh, it's a totally different tool, a totally different uh, piece of equipment. It's like a, a multi-tool, like your Gerber uh, pocket knife. Um, if you just want a, a knife, though, like a regular, like, you know, Bowie knife, and you're going to go, like, cut a bear open or something, I don't know, like, like an eight-inch blade. I got a really nice knife uh, over there. Um, those right there are going to smoke a pocket knife, right? So it's like get something that's either going to be a dedicated tool or something that's going to be a multi-tool, but it's hard to like compete with one or the other to like compare them if you will. Liquid death is delish. Okay. Okay. Smart water. So I heard smart water from Kalfas is not that good for you. Like it's very, what is it like? Um, alkaline or whatever. And it's supposed to be, uh, whatever the pH is or, or the other way, maybe, um, it's actually, actually not good water for you. Like with a bunch of independent testing. Now, uh, Essentia is like an 8.7 on the little pH scale. And so Kelfus, you guys ever watch his live streams? He does like his water testing. Literally the uh, Essentia water, it's, it tastes good. It tastes whatever. It's, 
it's not the cheapest. It's not the most expensive, but Kelfus was saying it was the best pH balanced water, or whatever, more, most alkaline and whatever it is. And that's like, uh, apparently it's a study is like cancer can't grow or doesn't grow as well or whatever in a more alkaline body, whatever, whatever the whole science is. You guys probably already know what I'm talking about. William half an acre. How much? Uh, it just depends. We're between 75 and 90 bucks an acre. I know some guys are well, well north of that. All right. A lot of questions. A lot of questions coming in. Uh, Fierce is a good mower. I have a 72 inch cut. Yeah. Fierce are great mowers. Where did you wrap your pickup truck? Uh, I didn't wrap my pickup truck. Uh, my enclosed trailer I wrapped at a place called Artworks Graphics in Wixom and Novi area. Do I recommend the X Mark Star S? Uh, the, the 30 and the 42 or 44, those are okay. Uh, but the 52s and the 60s, the older model before the Vertex, uh, no. Uh, bro, tap water here in West Central Michigan is so good. I don't know about that. West Central Michigan. You know, it's like just East Central Michigan. I'll leave it at that. Uh, when's the next giveaway? I need a trimmer rack. That's a good question. I don't know. Let me, I actually, I have some stuff from Corey Ballard in my garage. Uh, he sent like two weeks ago. I've been on tour, man. I've been going wild uh, behind the scenes, just trying to film YouTube videos. When I get uh, a minute, I'm going to open that up. We'll probably give, uh, some live stream giveaways, uh, next week on the live stream. How about that? When is the main numbers you need to know? What is the main numbers you need to know in the long care business? Uh, that's a tough one, man. You need a lot. Um, uh, know your numbers, like talks from John Pajak and Michael Bedell. They'll give you the lay of the lamb. Uh, look at a good PL. That's where I would say uh, a good PL statement from any business. Those are the things you need to pay attention to. Google PL examples and start there. Uh, that's, a, that's a long question. I think we got a super chat from Extreme Landscaping, $2.79 from Canada. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Um, no comment or anything, but. Hey, appreciate that. I think that means my YouTube channel's made two dollars and seventy nine cents this month. <laughs> uh, learning session, great info on the smart water. I got you, Taylor. Which is better, the uh, X Mark Thirty or the Toro Turf Master? Um, I haven't used the Toro. I have used the X Mark. I used the old uh, Kawasaki, but the uh, X Mark Thirty Toro. No, I'm sorry, X Mark Thirty Kohler is a. It's a beast. A lot of guys like that. How to approach lawn care treatment companies for new subcontract deal? Uh, just reach out to them. Say, hey, I've got some properties. Would you guys mind subcontracting out? Uh, have them give you some pricing on the lawns. You add 5 or 10% on top of that. Uh, you bill your customer. They bill you. Uh, you pay off the subcontractor. Customer pays you. And you get a little bit of a delta there. Pretty straightforward. Make sure you have some uh, 1099s ready to go and the W9s from the subcontractor. And then also make sure you have a good subcontractor agreement. We do have those at launchpreneuracademy.com. Bing, a little plug there. Uh, but for real, it's 200 bucks, I think, for a lawn care um, uh, subcontractor agreement. And it's clutch. It's the way to go if you're trying to sub out work. And you need one, period. Don't just willy-nilly uh, sub people out. How much are we charging for a yard of mulch installed? Actually, that's a great question. I'll pull the audience on that one. How much for a uh, yard of mulch installed? We're at 125 bucks a yard installed. And if it's over 20 yards, I might break it down to about 110 a yard installed. That includes the material and labor. Bed edging is a dollar a linear foot, and it doesn't include like calling away any old mulch or pulling weeds or any of that mess. That's all extra. Good questions coming in tonight. Holy cow. Hey, Kevin Hansen from uh, Lawn Care Juggernaut. He's joining in. How's it going, brother? I heard that Kevin is going to super chat us $1,000 tonight to go to the house fund. <laughs> Kevin, I need to go do a mowing tall grass video with you, man, and uh, get 5 million views and get my channel moving, you know? <laughs> 150 bucks at yard installed in Maryland from Andrew McDowell. That's really, really cool. Good for you. Double the cost, cost of the mulch. Uh, way more than that. Probably 3x on the cost of the mulch is my suggestion. Do whatever you want. Cedric from Steel Cuts. How you doing, brother? 150. Good for you. That's awesome. I think he is in Pennsylvania. If I'm not mistaken, I think he's over by uh, Cornell. 150 bucks per yard install, not bad. A pull between Skag and X Mark. All right, let's let's kick the beehive. Here we go. Skag, X Mark. You already know. You already know what it is. Toro. Let's see what else I can do. Uh, deer. All right, here we go. Pull time. Pull time. Pull time. Answer in the poll. Skag, X Mark, Toro, or deer. 
Everybody, uh, really quick while you're at it, say, what's up, Kevin? He is a long care juggernaut jumping on our live stream. We are honored to have him. Shout out from hashtag whippy snippy. All right, all right. Uh, what's a linear foot? Um, a foot. Linear. You measure a foot. Like linearly. <laughs> Do I still have 21 inch push mowers? Nope. I don't have any push mowers of any type. Uh, no 36s, no 21s, no walk behinds, no, no, nothing like that. Is there a Brian's 10 on Chick-fil-A? Man, you know, I, I'm shocked that we don't have something for Purple or Manscaped or Chick-fil-A or Jimmy John's. Uh, we have no food sponsors ever. I, I just don't get it. I apparently I need like a million subs to get on somebody's radar. If anybody knows anybody at fast food, I'd love to help out all the lawn bros. <laughs> We're Subway, Jimmy John's, Firehouse. You guys know how that goes. That's funny right there. I still live in a rundown rental. I'm looking to get a house myself. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Uh, uh, Lucas Zanola, I just uh, answered that question. How do you approach lawn care treatment companies for a new subcontract deal? Um, I forgot right. Um, not a lot of right mowers up here, so I didn't add right. But if you like right, you can just say, I like right. <laughs> X mark for the win. Your experience balancing new dad life with running the business. Um it's wild, man. It's it's a lot more difficult. I'll tell you what, when you're working, you need to be productive, like as productive as possible. Like there's no fluff time. There's no uh, there's there's no extra time, you know, like from eight to four. I hustle. I get home at five, five thirty, just like you guys. I do family time from five to nine. Nothing else matters. I'm dead serious. I do family time from five to nine. Emmy goes to uh, bath time at eight. Eight to nine is family time as well, where we bath and then read a story. And after nine is when I do all my social media stuff. I'll make a TikTok or make a draft for a TikTok for the next day or an Instagram post the next day. Uh, edit my YouTube videos at night. I have to edit a video tonight uh, at, after nine o'clock. Um, I got three or four videos I got to edit for this week. Rain days, I, I work on my social media stuff. But man, family time is important. Um, work late, work your six, seven o'clock. That's fine in the spring. But don't do it forever, man. Make sure you guys spend some time with family. I'm telling you, please spend time with your family. Um, you're so nice to give back to the community. Uh, me or probably long care juggernaut. I, I try to get back. I don't know. <laughs> do I prefer stand up or sit down? Uh, I like both standing. If you're mowing, uh, sit down, if you're going to be bagging and doing cleanups, but, uh, I would say everybody's first mower should probably be a zero turn, uh, from whatever brand you like. I get Manscapes emails all the time. Yeah, Kevin, they wanted me to give them a bunch of free plugs and free shout outs. And uh, I was like, it's not happening. So Black Rifle Coffee. Uh, I don't drink coffee, so I've never pursued a coffee sponsor. Uh, I'm not opposed to it, but I don't know. Making money instead of spending $40 for a prom ticket. <laughs> okay. Have I tried out the right ZXL or ZXT? Uh, I have not, but I did a video with uh, Mitchell Gordy on the ZXT. I'm going to have that drop in later this week. Uh, he liked it, but he's also selling it. Brian's 10 code for ammo. Uh, grind hard ammo. I tried to get a code for them, uh, but he already had a code and it was like blank, you know, JB is FJB as something. So if you need a code, just message him. We'll get you a code. Tell him Brian's on maintenance and send you. Uh, but grind hard ammo on Instagram and just a quick Google great ammo. Uh, so there goes my channel being shadow banned and blocked for another six months. <laughs> so, uh, do you guys get my suggested videos or my brow? Like, do I pop up in your guys' YouTube feeds or, uh, cause my channel has been, um, going through some stuff behind the scenes. All right. Uh, thank you, Tim Letronor, Let Letorno. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate that. He said, great family, Brian. All right, if you guys got questions in the comments, uh, let me know anything I can do to help you guys grow. Uh, just kind of hang out here. We do Sunday live streams every week, 7 p.m. Eastern. And then also the audio I'm ripping to add to the podcast as a Saturday bonus episode. By the way, if you guys are listening on the podcast, thanks for joining on the podcast. Check out the Sunday live stream tomorrow night, the following week. Obviously, every week, uh, Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern time on YouTube at Brian's Law Maintenance. My wife and I got into an argument because I'm always working, as you probably will get into an argument. Um, 
it's a it's a, it's a tough balance, man. It, it is. Uh, there's times when I'm working too much. There's times when I never feel like I'm working too little. I'll tell you that. Uh, but I think something that we can all get better at is a work life balance, for sure. And I don't think there's a work life balance. I'm a big counterbalance kind of guy. That just means go hard, but then make sure you don't forget your family and come back and spend a day or two with them, or evening or Saturday, that kind of a deal. All right, we're gonna end the poll. Uh, we've got oh, very very close. Twenty two percent skag. 11% deer, 34% Xmark, 33% Toro. So Xmark wins that poll. What poll do you guys want me to do next? How about a trimmer poll? Found the, the poll button, so here we go. <laughs> uh, do I mow lawns in April? If I can, yes. Uh, but this year, I think we're going to get one cut in April. Uh, the weather's been so crummy. It's been pouring rain all the time, snow. It's been cold and windy. We've not had a spring this year. Uh, Matt Sargent, $20 for a super chat. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. Uh, no comment, but uh, if uh, if anybody sees Matt Sargent anywhere, give him a high five, a thumbs up, a follow, a like, uh, knuckles, you know, knuckle bump, boom. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Uh, go through the comments as best I can. How did the Tesla do on the road trip? Actually, really, really well. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I used about 20... No, probably about 1,500 supercharger miles. Uh, I was in the car 14, 15 hours there, 14, 15 hours back. I drove on autopilot probably 70% of the time, uh, for real. It was it was a dream come true. It was, it was fun. Thank you to anybody who's ever used the Tesla code to get free supercharger miles because I use those to pay for gas money, if you will. <laughs> uh, it was a lot of fun. So I would drive for about two to three hours, supercharge for 45 minutes, drive three, three and a half supercharge for 45 minutes, drive three hours, rinse and repeat. And then every about three to six hours, I was stopping at somebody's uh, place. Thomas Savino, shadow band. Yeah, my, my channel is not getting suggested. More on more on that a whole nother time. But um, it's it's wild out there. What what you say on YouTube, and then they, they shadow ban and put your channel on blacklist and uh, nobody can find you. My views are down from last year and I have more subs. It, it, it's wild. All right, stand on versus sit down. That's our next poll. And then we'll do uh, trimmers after that. How about that? Stand on, mower, sit down. Sit down, mower. I can't spell. I'm high school educated. Educated, right? Is that what the kids say? That's the joke. All right, uh, if you guys have other questions, let me know. Here we go. Uh, when are you at, where are you at in the home shop build? Uh, home build, hopefully by the end of summer, first part of fall. Uh, it was The home came in a little bit more expensive than I thought. Uh, so we're saving some more money. Shouldn't be an issue. Super excited about that. Uh, the shop will hopefully build the following year. So the home is probably going to go like September to September. And then immediately as soon as the house is done, I plan to build a pole barn. Uh, so I got to save my pennies. We'll do, we'll do uh, a telethon, right? On live stream telethon. <laughs> uh, we'll sell some training programs. I don't know. Whatever you guys want. We'll, we'll do the whole ball of wax 50% off. What do you guys think? How much is a yard of mulch? Not the price. Uh, I don't know what you mean. Most mulch is between eight bucks and thirty-five bucks a yard. On the West Pacific Northwest, you can get mulch for four to five dollars a yard. Uh, around us, it's thirty, thirty-two dollars a yard uh, at cost. Lawnscapes of America, what's up, peeps? How you doing, brother? Have I rode my five seventy lately? I have not. I have not rode the quad in probably four or five months. But. We're also out of winter, and I got to get that to the property. That's a fact. I have a QAA question. Robert Lawyer, Lawler. Hey, if you got questions, let me know. How many hours a day do we put on my mower uh, on the Xmark? I don't know, but we put about 500 hours on that machine per year. Three to 500 hours on it per year. We run about five to 600 hours a year on our equipment. It's crazy. So we get a demo. Those demo mowers we get from a brand because we do some sponsored content on YouTube or something like the... Um, the Cub Cadets or the Hustlers, we put a hundred hours in them in a month. So we, I know people think we don't work and that's fine. That's cool. I get it. Uh, but at the same point, dude, we're adding five to 600 hours on our equipment. My Z is three years old. It's already got like 1400 hours on it. It's due to get traded in. And that's outside of the Toro, the two stars is, uh, and all the demos, you know what I'm saying? So like, dude, we are putting some mad hours on our equipment. We're mowing 80 plus lawns a week. Uh, we're up to about 14 or so commercial and three or four HOA. Um, 
here we go. How to ha have conversations with spring companies so I can subcontract them. Um, if you're trying to subcontract them, reach out and ask if they do subcontracting work. If you're trying to subcontract for them, uh, I don't know if a FERT company would sub out to you for FERT, but a lawn care company or a construction company or a hardscape company might uh, sub you out. So just kind of work those two angles, I guess. All right, here we go. Uh, updates on the truck. Good question. Um, I had a build date of April 25th. Uh, that is not the case now. It is May 7th. So I actually had somebody reach out to me on Instagram because their build date was also April 25th and their truck is now in the production queue, which is really exciting. So hopefully mine is like right there. Ford said, uh, my, my dealer guy said that my truck should be getting produced in the next two weeks. I really hope so because they're shutting down the lines again. They can't get the uh, the chips in and all that mess. So I hope I'm like at the last the last tail end of the the batch that's getting built. Uh, but if you want a truck after that, it could very well be three to six months for real. All right, uh, looking at the poll here, we got 52% for a sit down, 49%. Well, I just changed 49% for a stand on. Interesting. Uh, vote in the poll if you guys don't mind. Where, where are we at? Sit down versus stand on. Uh, also, can you guys get, help me out with some likes here? If you guys want to uh, thumbs up the live stream, super appreciate that. Doesn't cost you guys anything and uh, does a lot for the, the videos and the channel. Uh, always appreciate you guys showing up. And uh, again, shout out to Matt Sargent who did a $20 live stream chat. That's awesome. Babe, you good over there? All right. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. We're going to end this poll and we will do a trimmer poll here in a second. <laughs> do a Ford Chevy Ram poll. Okay, we'll end with that one. How much did everybody go up on pricing this year? We went up uh, 12% just on mowing and a little bit more on everything else, obviously. Your podcast where you discuss the choice between allowing something to be an excuse versus a reason is an all-time classic from Jeffrey Wilson. Hey, I appreciate that. I know that episode. That was a good episode. Uh, that was an inspired episode for sure. I uh, appreciate that. Are we still building a home? Yes, we're going to be breaking ground later this summer, first part of fall. Um, the cost of it went up significantly. <laughs> we, we, we built a, we added a lot to it, just, and then the cost of goods and materials and all that mess, I should say, uh, went up as well. It's proportional uh, and it's, yeah, you, you add 200, 300 square feet here and you add 20, 30, $50,000 in cost, right? So we, we built the home a little bit bigger, cost went up, material cost went up, and it is what it is just uh how the, the cookie crumbles but we should be breaking ground later this summer <clears throat> excuse me first part of spring <clears throat> all right if you guys got questions leave them in the comments i'm reading them as fast as i can dump trailer <clears throat> um i don't know if i'm gonna get a dump trailer with the new truck i've considered it though i'm think i'm thinking out loud now we got two rigs the reason i have the dump insert is to haul stuff away but if we had the dump trailer we could haul stuff away because we have two trucks. Although I like having one rig that has an enclosed trailer and the dump insert for grass clippings, leaf material, all that mess. But a dump trailer would be nice for mulch jobs and landscaping jobs and maybe even building a larger leaf box, you know, come spring or fall for leaf cleanup. So the problem with a dump trailer, I mean, I guess it's not really a problem. It's just, it is what it is. They're 13 grand. Do I want to spend 13 grand when I already have a dump insert? Um, every time I do mulch, two to four yard mulch jobs, I deliver myself. But anything over that, I just have delivered for 35 to 75 bucks. So I don't understand why I would drop 13 grand when I can just pay $75 delivery fee for 20 yards of mulch. Right. So, uh, and I don't do a ton of mulch. You do 100, 150 yards of mulch. So do I really need to get a 13 grand dump trailer for that? I don't know. I can spend 350 bucks a year in dump fees, uh, you know, dump, dump, dumpster delivery fees, I should say, mulch delivery fees versus dropping 13, 14 grand. I'm not ruling it out. It's just, I, you know, I, we don't have infinite money here. You know what I'm saying? Those YouTube millions are still not showing up. So I'm trying to be smart with my money, just like you guys are. <laughs> the week coming up is going to rain. Not a lot of sun, so much for mowing. Yeah. We were just talking about that earlier. Um, band font and then use rumble as a backup. Yeah. But that's not the same thing as YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it sounds like sucks. Battery cars would drive me crazy. I like my battery car, man. No, it's it's a fun ride. It's I wouldn't I I would never buy another vehicle. I I'd buy a Tesla Cybertruck right now if it was out. I'm telling you, drive a Tesla, you'll never go back. 
uh, and I'm sure every Tesla fanboy says the same thing, but it's it's true. It's a different kind of vehicle. New to the channel, but have you ever used Gravely mowers? If so, what was it like? Uh, Antonio Herrera. Um, I have used the Gravelys. They just didn't cut up here in the Midwest. Uh, the Kentucky bluegrass that we have, they did not cut well. I don't care what anybody says. Built like a tank. They're solid. They're built like a tank. Good engineering. Great thought process behind a lot of the stuff that's on them. Up here, they do not cut for 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 anything. Now, that's not true everywhere. Down south in Florida and Texas, guys love them. Uh, so it's regionally, it just depends. And the grass type, it depends. All right. Uh, answering the questions as best I can. Hope you guys are having fun. Have you thought about using Rumble as a backup? Uh, we just talked about that. Uh, I'm on Truth. I don't know. Give me, give me a follow on Truth Social. <laughs> Have I considered buying an electric pickup? I would. I would buy an electric pickup, not for like hauling heavy or um, think I'm going to get a big road trip out of it, but just the convenience of an electric vehicle. I, I think they're awesome. And I'm not a greenie. I'm not a whatever. I'm just telling you, they're 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 dope. Like you charge them at night, just like your phone. I haven't been to the gas station for like for my wife. You know, she gets in the car and it's like, oh, it's got the car's not empty. We haven't had that fight for a year and a half. <laughs> Oh, that's good. You hear that, babe? It happens, Brian. I really use the quad. When I have my property, I 100% will ride uh, my four-wheeler like every day. Okay, good questions here. Let's do a quick pull on trimmers. We're going to do – give me some brands. What do we got? Uh, Husky, Husqvarna, uh, Husqvarna, Red Max, which are kind of the same thing, uh, Echo, and I guess we'll do Steel. I can only do four, so relax if you're like, "Where's not? Why not Shandiawa?" <laughs> All right, what's the favorite tr uh, favorite trimmer? I just did a poll: Husqvarna, Red Max, Echo, and Steel. All righty. What type of marketing strategies? We actually did a live stream probably about five weeks ago, talking about all things uh, marketing and getting new customers. I actually have a great training program at LaunchpreneurAcademy.com: How to get new customers. Very, very popular training program. Check that out. It's worth the 50 bucks. I'm telling you, you will make your money back two minutes after. You know what I mean? Just learn some basics. We go through all of it. Postcard marketing, yard sign marketing, door-to-door -door marketing, how to get commercial clients marketing, Facebook, Google, all of it. I have like seven modules in there where we talk about each one for about 20 minutes uh, each. It's really, really good. Uh, LaunchpreneurAcademy.com, promo code LIVESTREAM, saves 10%. So if you guys are listening on the replay, or you guys are watching live, you guys want a residential contract, commercial contract, rate adjustment letter, subcontractor agreement, new hire forms, employee handbook. You can get all that stuff, 10% off. Uh, and then also thank you guys that use all the uh, the Brian's 10 code here. I'm pointing on the, my banner behind me. Uh, Cujo, Ballard, uh, uh, Equipment Defender, Shurkan, uh, saves you guys 10% everywhere else. How many res residentials and commercial accounts do you know that you have two full-time guys? Uh, we have about 80 residentials, about 12 to 14 commercials now, uh, and about four or five HOAs. And uh, I think I said 75 to 80 residentials. It's four, four full-time, um, four full days of mowing. It's it's thick. It's it's packed. I'm, I'm curious to see how the guys do. I hope they, they can hold up. <laughs> how did I get into YouTube? Go to Fullerton Unfiltered Podcast and listen to episode one. I give the whole story about how we got started doing YouTube. It was literally just by chance. Hey, Andy with Cut and Clean TV. What's good? Just want to stop by and say, hey, Andy, I have not talked or seen you in th three years, dude. Hope you are doing well. Uh, you are one of my like OG friends from YouTube, bro. We got started like the same time. Everybody say, what's up, Andy, down in the comments. From Cotton Clean TV, he is an OG. Uh, Andy, hope you've been well, man. Uh, I was talking to Blake and uh, Randy Palmer about you. They said you're doing good, and uh, I hope hope you are doing well behind the scenes, brother. Reach out anytime if you ever need to say, hey, um, hope the season's going well, and uh, we we'll miss you, brother. All right, great questions here. Should I try to go for all commercial or residential, pros and cons? Um I like a mix because if the economy moves up or down, you got a little bit of both. Uh, I like being diversified. No right or wrong answer. Residentials, they're they're smaller jobs. They're they're quick money. They pay faster cash flow. Commercial, uh, less headaches, less less people to keep in contact with. Right? You can have one commercial account versus ten residential accounts, um, but they're slow payers. Um, 
30, 60 days, all that kind of stuff. Um, we might be wrapping up the podcast here, right? Or the, uh, the, the live stream right now because my battery is blinking and uh, I probably got two minutes left on the camera. So we will button this up right here. Let's look at the poll and we will be wrapping this up. Oh, 43% steel, 40% echo. Holy cow. 12% red max, 4% Husqvarna. That's surprising. Wow. No shoot. I'm actually shocked. I, I figured it'd be an even like 25% almost uh, steel taking the cake for trimmers. Do I use GoPros? No. No, uh, GoPros are awful. Don't ever buy a GoPro. All right, I'll do one last uh, poll here before we uh, my camera dies. Dodge, uh, Ford, Chevy, a Toyota, or a Nissan. I know if I don't do a poll with the trucks, somebody will say something. All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping this up here. My camera is probably going to die. So if it dies, I love you guys. You guys know that. Thanks for the support. Have a great week. Uh, don't forget the thumbs up if you guys can really quick as you guys are watching the live stream. Uh, we'll keep going until the camera dies. I'm getting the blinking red dot. So I love Red Max way more than Steel. Yeah. Don't leave. Don't leave. I'm not leaving. We're going to rock and roll with this thing until the camera dies or, or, or for another three minutes. So I started five minutes late. April, can I call you? I'm not sure who that is for. Chevy all the way. Uh, what are we doing in the polls right now? Ford is taking the cake. 44%. Chevy 32%. Dodge and Nissan's both in uh, the 10 to 14 percent category. All right, hey, uh, every Sunday 7 p.m. Eastern, make sure you guys jump on, come say hey. Uh, can you guys hit some more thumbs up before we button this thing up? I really appreciate that. And uh, if you guys are watching the live uh, uh, or the replay, I should say thanks for checking it out. If you guys are listening on the podcast, thanks for the support on the podcast. And uh, make sure you guys come check out the live streams every Sunday 7 p.m. Eastern. I do run late. I run late all the time. It's a it's a horrible habit. <clears throat> Ford, fix or repair daily. Blah, blah, blah. By the time you were done writing that sentence, they had sold 100 more trucks than the other competitors combined. They sell like 400 every like minute or something like that. It's wild. They're 400 an hour or something crazy. It's, it's a wild stat. They sell like 1.2 million of them a year, which is like more than everybody else combined. All right. So blah, blah, blah. <laughs> all right. Uh... Should I buy a striping kit for my Toro? Um, fresh blades cut at three and a half inches. You don't need a stripe kit. You'll be fine. Save yourself 250 bucks. Subaru for my wife. They said October at the earliest. Yeah, it's going to be a while till you get some cars, man. Uh, I'm hoping I get my truck in the next couple of weeks, maybe uh, mid-May, first part of June. We'll find out. Ford, easy to fix. April generic. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to button up right here. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you guys big time. Have a great productive week. Uh, watch YouTube. We got... Uh, Jeremy Connects shop tour dropping tomorrow. Um, videos from Mitchell Gordy this week. I got a long care vlog I got to edit that I did from last week. And we'll catch up with you guys.